Welcome to Lawrence, Kansas. And pay heed all who enter. And beware, these Jayhawks can play a little football too. Today, a couple of squads here to square off in a Big 12 showdown. As we'll see a team coming off a crucial bye week, the Houston Cougars. Taking on the 12th ranked team in the land, the Kansas Jayhawks. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. Jayhawks will put total weather and will get started. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Cougars offense will start this game off. And here comes this quarterback. This entire offense is built around him. He is the engine of the entire team. I mean, he's the leader. He's the alpha. Everybody looks towards him. He's been doing it all year long. Everybody believes in this young man. Big opportunity, big stage. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. Looks as if they didn't get it off in time. It'll be a delay of game. Delay of game. Delay of game. Offense. Offense. There's a difference between being methodical and thorough and slow. They were slow, and they got the flag. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Works ahead for a couple. They'll stop him at the 27. Fairly manageable distance here on third down from the 27. Smith wants to throw. Here he goes breaking the pocket. Going to try to get it himself. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. Houston coming to the line with a new set of downs. Quarterback changing the plays at the line. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. Been showing them the run. Now they'll throw it. Flyers downfield. Complete downfield. Open runway ahead. They're able to keep him out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the two after the big play in the passing game. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. Houston is moving it quickly down the field. They'll keep it on the ground for first and goal. That one did not go well. Tackled in the backfield for a loss of six. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Dragged down at the six after the pickup of two. This defense has given up yards, but a chance to make a stop on this opening drive on third and goal. They're trying to get to it. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Cougars. This defense has their hands full in this game because of what you saw right there. This quarterback is one of the fastest players in the entire country, and he runs one in. They're going to have to do a better job getting hats to him because they know they're going to see the QB run a lot today. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the PAT makes it 7-0. So a drive there of 82 yards. And he got into the house from the six to finish it. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Buys just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. So Kansas offense will try to get something started with their first possession. Here comes the offense on first down. They'll go to the ground. 
And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. The back goes in motion. Looking for a man, it's Daniels. They're bringing heat. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Not sure exactly what led to that, whether the protection wasn't right or the quarterback just didn't see it, but the result was a negative play in a sack. Well, one thing I do know is that quarterback had no chance to get that ball downfield. That pocket was breaking down, and it was breaking down quickly. There were just too many bodies in that backfield for the QB to make anything happen. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Using his legs to buy some time. And he tried to make something happen with his feet, but they stopped him short, and it'll bring up a fourth down. And the Jayhawks will call on their punt team. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He's got it. He gets a block. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. Here comes the Houston offense once again. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Paul. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Wide receiver coming across in motion. They'll run it from the gun. And a really short game before he gets a whole bunch of company from the defense. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Now adjusting. And the quarterback bought some time, but not enough. Down he goes with the sack. How great is it if you're a defensive coordinator that you know I can put 60 DBs on the field in my dime package and I can still get home rushing four. My guys up front are better than your guys, and we're going to go prove it. And they did just that. Houston sends the punt team onto the field. They'll have to punt for the first time this afternoon. He'll get it out to about the 20-yard line, and that's where they'll mark him down. The Kansas offense returns to the field. Off the play fake on first down. Scrambling away. He'll pull it down and run. He turns this into a nice game and gets down to avoid the hit. They really got things moving on this drive. Second play of the drive comes from the 37. On the run, it's Morrison. At midfield, he's got room. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. Looking to go up top on first down. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. When you talk about outstanding pass rushers, you're always talking about dynamic guys, and he's been that each and every week for this defense. Speed, he's got power. You just simply can't block him, and that last play is his 10th sack of the season. After the big first down sack for the D, it's second down. The give to the back. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Third and long from the 42. If they can get some of it, it might give them a chance to go for it on fourth down. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. The Jayhawks will bring the punt team onto the field. That last howitzer was nice. How about another one just like it? And the punt will hit at the 7, and they can't corral it. It goes into the end zone. It'll come out to the 20. Out of the gun. They'll run it inside. Into the pile. Maybe got one. He stopped at the 21. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Power football with the run. And a good, solid pickup there before the defense knocks him down. 
Looking for that first down on third and short from the 28. He'll keep it himself. They'll keep this drive moving by picking up the first down. They have it at the 36. At the 36. And first down. That's the end of the quarter, and Houston has the lead. One period in the books, and let's take a look at the stats. Lots of time left, and we're ready to get back to it and open the second period. The Cougars will snap it on first and ten. Leaves it with the back. We'll give him a couple on that with second and eight coming up. Got a little work done on first down, now back to the line. Looking for a crease, it's knee. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. As they come to the line on third and short from the 43, I wonder if they already know they'll go for it if they don't make it here. Didn't get much, picked up a yard, and that will leave them with fourth and two. Houston will be forced to punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He'll get it out to about the 20-yard line, and that's where they'll mark him down. Kansas gets the ball back, and the Jayhawk offense is ready to go to work. They'll leave it with him. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? He got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Looking for a man. It's Daniels. Coming after it. He's going to take off. He found a little opening and got loose. They couldn't stop him in the backfield, so a solid pick up there. Now looking for that first down on third and short from the 26. Got his man to the left. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pick up on that one. They'll throw it on first down. Caught in the backfield, and it's Morrison. This defense is going to have to be careful. Not only do they have to worry about this guy running the football, but they've got to keep their eye on him when he runs routes, too. He is a versatile back. Lowers those pads. Good execution. They move the sticks, and they've got it at the 33. Finally, this offense starting to show a little juice. They've got a first and 10. They'll try the run. Shakes off the defender. Finds a crease at the 20. They get him on the ground, but not before he rumbles all the way to the five. Man, this is a guy who just seems to get better as the game goes on. What a run getting his offense down close to the goal line. So nice creating explosive runs in the run game. Now you're getting in the red inside the five. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. Well, we talked to the offensive staff coming into this one. They knew going up against the top 25 defense with respect to sacks per game that they had to do a good job protecting the QB, but they have not been able to get that done so far. They've already now allowed three sacks in this game. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. On the move, it's Morrison. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. About to have the ninth snap on this drive. You don't want to settle for a field goal. The sweet feet buy a little time. He was thinking touchdown on the scramble, but they're able to stop him short of the end zone. They'll try to cap off this drive with a field goal. Never a doubt. Right down the middle. So after the made field goal, they'll kick it away and rely on their defense. Here's the return from inside his tent. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Houston offense comes onto the field. Handoff to the lone back. 
Into the pile, maybe got one. He stopped at the 21. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Smith dropping to pass. Flips it out in the flat. Tackled almost immediately there, well short of the first down. Picked up some yardage on that completion, but still a third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Looking to scramble. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Here's the handoff. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. He's back to throw on second down. Catch in the middle. It's Wilson. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. This Houston offense about to snap it on first down again. Looking to move it through the air. Quarterback floating away from pressure. On the run, and he'll slide to avoid the hit. A nifty pickup there. And here comes play number six of the drive. Takes the handoff. It's Jenkins. And the Cougars pick up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can build on this lead before the break. Going up top on first down. Dances away to buy time. Gets him on the ground at the 28, but not before a big 10-yard pickup. Houston getting set, looking at first and 10. Got him looking run. He wants to throw. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. Stopped after making the catch. Now on second down. He's looking to throw. Floating away. Trying to make magic with his feet. He's brought down, but not before he turned that into a positive play and picked up a few on the run. They turn to the passing game on third and short. And he scoops his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. The offense quickly calls timeout to stop the clock. Down to the 12-yard line, it's first down. Smith wants to throw. Into the end zone. Almost intercepted. They took a shot on first down and just about turned the thing over. He wants to pass it on second down. Getting some heat. And the freshman will chalk up a sack. And that is your job. The whole lot has to protect the quarterback. That's the most important position on the field. You got to make sure you keep him upright. You got to do a better job. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. And he gets it just beyond the line of scrimmage before he gets down. We've got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. And now on fourth down, they'll try a field goal. Oh, and the attempt is no good. After the miss, the lead is still full. That's just the chip shot. That's just a field goal they got to make, guys. The Kansas offense returns to the field. Now you find out just how much of a gunslinger you are. Will you roll the dice here late in the half, David? And you know the defense is going to be really, really conservative, so I think it's an opportunity to be able to take a shot, see how much of a chunk you can get before then you decide really, Jesse, how you want to finish the half. Just can't turn it over and throw a pick if you're the quarterback here. You have got to be so smart. If you're going to be aggressive with your decision making. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. He's looking to throw it. Fires to the wideout. How about getting the foot down on that throw for the big completion? Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. 
fires to the big fella. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. The waning seconds of the first half try to tack on a three before they head to the locker room. And it's no good. He missed it. And guys still down by four, still needing a touchdown to take the lead. Seven, Kansas, three. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. All right, fellas, looks like we've got a great atmosphere there today in Lawrence. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen and panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. And with that, let's kick it back to the guys at Kansas Memorial Stadium. Got things teed up and just about ready to go here in the second half. On the move from inside is five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Kansas gets the ball back, and the Jayhawk offense is ready to go to work. Tight game as we start the third quarter, and we'll see what type of adjustments they made at halftime. And getting the ball first here, I think, is such a big deal. Like, I get the first chance to make a statement, to make the adjustments, to create some momentum for my squad right here in the third quarter. Yeah, I think it's so important for this offense to set the tone here early in the second half, to get a nice drive going, build that confidence, and, and get your defense ready to come on out, get a stop, and change the complexity of this game. Third down conversions, always a huge stat, and they've got a third and long from the 27. Looking to scramble. He'll pull it down. And there were some collisions in there, and the D finally stops him short of the marker. And the Jayhawks will line up to punt it away. He'll get it to about the 25 before they put a stop to the return. Houston sending the offense back onto the field. Man, oh man, these offenses just haven't been able to find any room to get things going, David. And to quote the great philosopher, Reese Davis, this is very ungood. Just nothing working for this offense, Palmer. They got to find something. Well, the, the plays look good against the scout team during the week in practice, but they have just not been able to find a rhythm against this defense today. And the running game has been disastrous on the last couple of plays. They'll try to salvage the drive on third down. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Houston sends the punt team onto the field. Tries to find a little more running room on that return, but he'll be stopped at the 36. Offense working from the pistol. Looking for space. It's Morrison. And he's able to bounce off one tackle, but still not a whole lot of running room. Got three on first down and second and seven. They'll run play action. Throws to the wideout. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. They couldn't make the connection on second down. Now a third and seven to keep the drive alive. To throw, it's Daniels. Moving away from pressure. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. The Jayhawks come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Comes out throwing on first down. Working the middle of the field and it's complete. That's about as close as you can get to that marker, and it will be second and just a few breaths away from the first down. Leaves it with the running back. Tackled after picking up the first down. And the Jayhawks have their offense in high gear. 
right back to the well. Plows through the defense. When you're a defense, it is stop the run first. That is your first responsibility. It makes the whole game easy. And right now, they got it going on the ground. The defense is going to have to change something up. These little tiny dink and dunk, dink and dunk. You keep doing this, they'll go all the way down the field on you. So you might want to get a little bit more aggressive. They've worked it down to the 30. This defense standing tall, trying to force a field goal try. And he was knocked down immediately, short of the line to gain. They'll have to make a decision here. Now it looks as if they'll settle for the field goal try. That is no good. And it is still a four-point deficit. Houston, seven, Kansas, three. The Houston offense ready to go back to work. First play of this drive comes from the 27. Out of the gun, the give to the back. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. They got nothing on the last play at second and 10. Smith dropping to pass. Firing to the right, complete. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. This offense looking at a third down after that last completion. From the gun, wants to pass. Pocket starts to collapse. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. Defensive linemen live to get after the quarterback, to get sacks, to get by those big hot mollies up front on the offensive line and say, you taste dirt. Houston will be forced to punt. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. And the coverage team able to wrestle him down. The Kansas offense returns to the field. You want to talk about taking the wind out of your sails, drive the ball down the field, and miss the field goal, David. You know what? Don't leave it up to kickers. Execute better offensively. I think you move the ball nice. you got to keep that in mind. But, Palmer, I think you got to stay aggressive and don't settle for field goals. Yeah, because you got to know there's just no margin for error right now. You just have got to be able to execute at a higher level. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. Pressure coming. Quarterback on the move, still looking. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. After run, 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 now throw. Just a short pass to the tight end. And that corner came in hot despite knowing that he was giving up some size. The give out of the gun. Bulls his way forward. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. Final minute now of the third quarter. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop it. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. Now on the counter. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. That's the end of the quarter, and Houston has the lead. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Makes the grab. It's Morrison. Can't quite cross the plane to get the six, but they'll have the first down. 
And this defense is going to have their hands full because they're going to need to be comfortable with guys one-on-one -on, -one on islands in the perimeter of the field. And they're just going to have to make better plays than what we saw right there. They Touchdown, Kansas! They move on top here on the fourth. And this offense really showing their physicality, running the football when it matters in the fourth quarter in crunch time to take the lead in this football game. He can make this one the lead will be three. And he knocks it through, and the lead is a field goal here in the fourth quarter. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Guys, let's take a look at what's happening in a great college football matchup. Mississippi State is ahead early in Stark Vegas, but that's not exactly Dak Prescott out there. This game is a long way from being over. They're up by eight over Texas A&M. They'll start this drive with a pass. Caught in the backfield, it's Jenkins. We'll circle back if anything big happens in this college football matchup. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Makes the grab over the middle. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. And that last completion left him short of the sticks. It's third down. Smith wants to throw. Setting up the screen. And they wrap him up, but not before. He gets it up on the catch for the first down. The Cougars come to the line with a new set of downs. They'll throw it on first down. Caught in the backfield, it's Jenkins. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. It's now second down after the short completion. Hand off from the gun. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. Houston is moving it quickly down the field. They'll ride the hot hand. At the 35, he's loose. He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Quarterback checking off. On the move. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. He's looking to throw. Snagged in the middle. It's Jenkins. Brought down just outside the red zone. He moves the chains. It's at the 22. Offense set on first down. He's going to pass. Quarterback adapting. Trying to make magic on the scramble. Short gain on the play before he slides. Houston will snap it in the red zone. Wants to throw on second down. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. So now the opportunity with a touchdown to take the lead. He wants to throw it. Let's it fly. Can't make the grab as he was going for six right there. Can the D deny them on second and goal? Second down play, the defense, I think, was expecting pass. You saw them come firing upfield. They use their speed. They use their athleticism. They win the one-on-ones, and they get a big-time set. If they can get it into the end zone here, they can really turn up the heat in this one. Third and goal. Quarterback extends the play. Touchdown, Houston. Hello. And with that, they move out front here in the fourth. How nice is it to know, man, late in the ball game when I need it, I can keep the football on the ground, not get super complicated, pound the rock, get in the end zone, and take the lead. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. 
And the extra point is good, and every point counts. It's now a four-point lead in the fourth. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. Kansas gets the ball back, and the Jayhawk offense is ready to go to work. Moving, keeping the eyes downfield. And he avoids the hit and slides after the short game. They'll run this play from the pistol. On the run, it's Morrison. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They're going to keep this drive going. They'll have to make a play on third and long from the 26. Shakes off the tackle. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. The Jayhawks line up to punt it away. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. He'll call for the fair catch here. The offense lining up for a first down play. He wants to throw. Got it in the middle. It's York. After the pickup of nine, it's second and one. Now the play fake. Quarterback now breaking the field. And he scoots his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Wide receiver shows motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. Smith dropping the pass. Takes the easy throw in the flat. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down mark. We have arrived at the two-minute warning. A one-possession game as this offense tries to hold on. They'll keep it on the ground to keep this clock moving. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And the ball hits at the three and gets into the end zone. It'll be a touchback. The offense set for a first down play. They're going to throw it to start the drive. Still looking on the move. And he can't find anyone open. And down he goes. A sack here late in the fourth. I just love the effort by the defense on this play. We're late in the game. It's in the fourth quarter. Guys are tired. And they're not able to get to the QB right away. But they continue pursuing him. And they're able to get to him outside of the pocket. Nice job. Sprinting to the line to try to get this one off. Clock's running. On second down, looking to throw. Quarterback doing what he does best. He can move. Got to protect the merchandise. Gets down without taking a hit. They'll hurry to the line here to try to get off that third down play. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Well, the quarterback can make a big play when he starts moving around. And he gets it just beyond the line of scrimmage before he gets down. And here we go, down a score. They'll go for it on fourth down. Desperate to convert, and he'll throw it. He's taking the deep shot. Incomplete on fourth down, and man, did they need to keep that drive alive. Great spot to start this drive for the offense. Using his legs, it's Jenkins. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Calling a timeout here, you have to avoid making a mistake in this situation. And the quarterback takes the snap and kneels down. 
Looking back on it, this game probably falls precisely into the definition of a trap game. Trap was set, sprung, and the underdogs come up with the win. And that's why we go, you know what? I don't take your rankings. I'm not worried about your rankings. They don't matter to me. We're going to go out and beat this team. We're better than this team. A lot of times those rankings don't mean a lot to a lot of people. And you can tell it didn't mean a lot to this team. And that's why they came out and pulled the upset. Absolutely, David. I mean, that's why you play the games. And this team knew they had to come out. They were going to have to put their best foot forward in order to get the W. They did just that. They're talented. They're obviously motivated. I can't wait to see how they follow this up in their next game. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.